Good morning, bonjour Montreal. Good morning, Canada. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. For over 25 years, the Canadian stand-up comedy show Nubian Disciples of Prior have, is, has been showcasing local black comics and even attracting big names like Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle, and more. And even our friend JP, John Paul, says he wouldn't be a comic without it. Joining me now is the founder, Kenny Robinson, the legend, and JP this morning. Good morning, fellas. Hey, good morning, morning sir. Good uh, morning, good morning. Hang on one sec, let me just... Uh, Shout out to Sid for dissing us. Sid, there we go, okay. Just want to <laughs> make sure I fit that. in. Oh, you're a little early for but... St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, you're a little early Yeah, I know. This is, this is the only thing we had, man. We'll get rid of that. Uh, Kenny, let's go back in the day <laughs> uh, to when you started this in the 90s and, and what was happening and why you wanted to put on this show. You, you ever stub your toe in the middle of the night? That's how the Nubian thing came to me. You know, uh, at the time, there might have been maybe, say, four or five comics of color in the entire country. That's from coast to coast. Um, Evan Carter, Ronnie Edwards, uh, Greg Morton, Gene Clark, and myself. And then we had young comics like Russell Peters starting to make a climb. And then... Uh, uh, Orson Payne, other cats were starting to come around. So anyway, a um, couple of things were big. I opened it for, uh, I, I hosted for a week when they had Paul Mooney uh, in town. So that kind of, you know, uh, that 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 woke me. And then um, I opened up for Chris Rock at the at the Diamond. And I also I had done another show in front of a, uh, uh, it was. Uh, uh, myself and Ronnie and a woman from Buffalo and then hip hop acts at the Opera House. So it was the first time I was working in front of predominantly black audiences. And I said, man, there is a market. But I didn't even think of market. That's a word I learned later. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, listen to the response. This is a voice these people haven't heard. And these are people I've never gotten to say these things in front of before. So uh, one thing led to another. Next thing I knew, I heard there's all these young comics that uh, had roadblocks and uh, and uh, door locks. And I said, well, you know, let's do something. Yeah, you opened up so many doors for so many. I've been fortunate enough to go check out some of the shows. And JP opened a door for you and got you involved. Uh, what was the impact on it uh, for you? Uh, basically, I, I, I wouldn't be sitting here if it, if it wasn't for Kenny. Um, the, the cool thing about what Kenny did is, is not just for me, but for Canadian comedy. He literally changed the landscape and the fabric of Canadian comedy forever. Mm. And you can't go back, which is the best thing in the entire world. <laughs> um, and I, and I'm, I'm a hip hop kid, right? So yeah. I, I grew up listening to Public Enemy, KRS, Tupac, all that kind of stuff. So I was always like, yo, yo, man, let's kick in that back door and walk in. And what Kenny did for me uh, as, a, as a comedian and as a man was like, no, kid, we gonna walk in through the front and with our hell's head high. <laughs> and, and he has allowed me to, to be the proud comedian that I am today without being that guy who feels like he has to sneak into the party. Now You're I know. an international brother. Yeah, now, now I've, I've been able to go to Dubai to perform, documentary in Israel, uh, all across Canada, Apollo Theater in Harlem, you know, the UK, Trinidad, Jamaica, all across this beautiful country that we call Canada. Um, so, yeah, man, he, he's given me a career. It's great. You, Kenny, I don't know if you'll remember this. Uh, years ago, I was working at Flow 93.5 where we met because you were a part of that and founding oh, of that. Yeah. Rest in peace for the very third time, that radio station. Um, <laughs> But like I was on stage, right? Well, it like <laughs> it just keeps rising. We were getting hired there because right? the first, they fired the first morning team at Flow after three days. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. So when they hired me, I said, this ain't no three-day tryout, mm. is it? They said, no. <laughs> Look, I was on stage for a Ludacris concert, and we had to kill time because Luda was late. And I just remember talking out of my backside to just kind of keep the crowd going and keep them excited. Kenny, you came up to me after and said, have you thought about comedy? Because what you did up there was special. That gave me so much confidence in my career because I was early in the flow days there. And yeah. so thank you for that because you've opened the door and given a lot of confidence to a lot of comics, but people like myself doing what I do. So uh, again, you're an OG. You are a legend for this. The show is returning on Sunday. What's it going to look like on Sunday at Yuck Yucks? It's uh, it's going to be a, a mess. So, uh, <laughs> well, what we're doing now is we're putting five acts on. We used to put on seven, sometimes more. I'm putting five acts on now so everybody can do longer. And uh, it's great. For the first time, we're doing uh, uh, a comedy uh, duo improv sketch with Coco and JoJo. So that's going to be great. We've got uh, Tamara Siobhan, who's just tearing rooms up. There's a new gal out. Well, not new, but new to me and making her Nubian show debut, uh, Bougie B. Uh, Bouge. 
and uh, she is blue. She is uh, <laughs> she's something wonderful. And then uh, uh, Che Durana, who's just a monster. And yeah. then uh, a young comic that I think probably is the next one to kick open the door. Hisham, big, baby. Uh, Hisham. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, it's it's a great show, and who knows? I may squeeze on a guest or two, but um, it's going to be the usual. Up. No. <laughs> It'll be the usual hour and a half. Uh, well, we used to go longer, so who knows? Maybe now that the pandemic has kind of been toned down, maybe we'll go back to our stay out all night long kind of shows. But uh, it's going to be it, it's going to be a gathering of tribes and a mess, I tell you. And this is going to be exciting for everybody in Toronto. You can check it out at Yuck Yucks on Sunday night. JP, Kenny, thank you so much for doing what you do and making us laugh during the times that are difficult for everybody and keep being the legends thank that you. you are. And anybody whose birthday it is gets a free CD of the next 25. Nice. I got all the glare on there. Which, and I'm uh, going to make it official here. Yeah. I want people to put out a petition to make sure that Kenny Robinson gets a star on the Canada Walker. Yes, let's go. Guy, let's go. Let's go. He guy. deserves let's that. Start, Come on, man. That. Let's start that petition because this dude is a national hey, treasure. Put my name is the first one on that petition once you get it going. I, I'm down for I that. Do. Guys, thank you so much for doing what you do. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. All right. Take Practice care. Happy, there you go. Kenny, Kenny Robinson, the last time we saw JP, he was in a forest and he is back and safe, thankfully, and ready for that.